The Council on American Islamic Relations sent a letter of complaint to the mayor of San Bruno, accusing the city of targeting and intimidating Muslims who were attending a city council meeting. KTV's Jana Katsuyama has the details. Outside San Bruno City Hall, residents of Palestinian descent and their allies rallied with signs and calls for a Gaza ceasefire Thursday. San Bruno has one of the largest Palestinian communities in the peninsula. Now the ceasefire group is upset, saying the city targeted and intimidated some of their members during Ramadan at a March 12th city council meeting. The Council on American Islamic Relations, known as CARE, sent a letter this week to San Bruno's mayor, Rico Medina. It states that the city refused their request to let the group break their Ramadan fast in the lobby of the San Bruno Senior Center outside the room where the city council was meeting. We had brought some food, some water. The chief of police came over and asked us to move all of the food and to go outside. The group shared this photo and says outside they found two tents had been placed in the parking lot with a few tables and no chairs. They say it was cold and windy. The ground was wet outside too and the tents were surrounded by police cars and police cones. The group shared this photo saying they refused to leave and stayed in the lobby but were surrounded by three police officers. They say their group ate pizza before returning to the meeting. And there's a vending machine, um, uh, like a cafe. Many of time our community has sat out there and enjoyed a snack or two with some water and there was never any issue. We went to City Hall and reached out to the mayor, city manager and city council members but got no response. I'd like to see them taking some efforts to understand um, like culturally how disrespectful that was. I would like an apology. I think that I think that the city um, needs to engage our community and uh, sit down and participate in dialogue. I did receive a response from District 4 Council Member Marty Medina who says that the entire council did receive the letter but he says he can't speak for the city and so far they have not had a meeting to discuss the contents. In San Bruno, Jana Katsuyama, KTVU, Fox 2 News.